I want to be nobody, cause nobody can do everything. Good morning, evening, and afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back for our War of the Walkers playthrough, The Road to 10K, episode 15. Uh, yesterday, we... Basically, we marked all of our spots on our map that we want to visit coming up soon. And we checked out the... The, the cargo place, the the warehouse, and it was kind of lackluster. Today, I think uh, we're planning on hitting the barber shop and maybe the stupor store, the Canuck uh, stupor store. So I will meet you at the barber shop and we'll start looting it when I get there. All right, so here we are at the barber shop, uh, Bearded Guys Barber Shop. I believe this is a shout out to Bearded Guys Gaming on Twitch. A uh, bunch of great guys. Yeah, haven't subscribed to them, you probably should, uh, or not subscribe, but, uh, at least follow them on Twitch. Uh, they're really big in the Seven Days to Die community, so I'm pretty sure this is for them. Uh, nice when modders pay homage to the community like that, that's pretty cool of them. So, I'm pretty curious as to how this is, I know that bearded guys were working on a barber shop or they've always been wanting a barber shop in the game so I'm thinking maybe this has something to do with that so let's see what they've got inside and see how cool it is all right so I'm gonna go on and stealth then because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be sleepers in here somewhere Interesting how they've got wood and everything up on their shelves. Okay, I see no sleepers, so this is a good sign. Let's see if there's any decent loot. Hopefully we can get a wrench out of one of these sinks. That would be awesome. We still don't have one yet. <laughs> Pack of Trojan condoms. A box of 40 premium latex condoms. If found, please return. Oh, great. Probably absolutely no use. I'm going to hold on to them just in case, but I really, really doubt it. Um, I think that's just the pit, uh, big old joke uh, about one of um, the guys who helped with testing the mod. And it is pretty funny, though. He, he thanks the same guy in his uh, opening thing for the quests. Ooh, electrician class fragment. Good, good. So I, I was watching uh, Dwilard's stream earlier. That's the uh, mod author. And he found, he was looking for class papers, so I'm sure that there's still a thing. I'm not exactly sure what they do. I didn't ask. I, I kind of want to learn it for myself. So we'll find out soon enough. So, so far, not too much except for the class papers and the the joke there that I'm pretty sure is absolutely useless for gameplay. Um, none of those are lootable. Okay, so those are not actual medicine cabinets. And so far, it doesn't look like there's a lot to this one. It is cool to have this in, but uh, there's still an entire room back here. So, hopefully, there's more loot back here. Now, I did hear that the Canuck uh, Stupor store that we're heading to after this has a lot of good loot, and I'm really looking forward to that one. So, if nothing else, even if this doesn't have good loot, it's still worth it to check it out because it's one of the new ones that they just added in. It was even in the patch notes that this one got added in. So, it, it's worth checking out, if nothing else. But, um, let's see what we got here. Mining tools, yes, read that. And rifles, yes, read that. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying, it's worth checking out all these new POIs just to see what they are. Uh, see if there's anything special about them. Some of them might have good loot, some might not. But, uh, I do know for a fact that the Canadian Stupor Store, it's basically like a Walmart. 
So it's got a little bit of everything in it. All right, so there's a basement here. So maybe the basement has something cool. It's a much larger building than it originally looked. So I got to be on the lookout for anything that might look like it's got something hidden behind it or anything like that. Because I know in the old packs, yeah, I think that does. So we're going to check that out as soon as we loot all this stuff up. But so far I haven't found any zombies in here. So I'm wondering if sleepers can even spawn in these rooms or in this building. Okay, so we have a bathroom. Come on, wrench. You know you want to have... Ah, come on. Yeah, I'm not that lucky. So far, it's a really cool looking building, though. I mean, it's a lot bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. See if you count that reference. It's nowhere near that large on the outside, but then again, it just goes down, so. All right. Apparently, it's really trashy. <laughs> Okay, so, wait, what was that? Oh, Joe's... Oh, yeah, it is for Bearded Guys Gaming. They've got their own storage chests. With a Beretta shotgun and shotgun ammo. That is awesome. Uh, this must be... Oh, this is their stream room. This is awesome. That must be their green screen behind them. I really like this. Whoa. Yeah, be careful when you're looting some of these things in these custom POIs. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's this big joke on their stream. Uh, when Joe dies, uh, there, there's this rip thing that you can put into their chat. And it basically, it'll do an instant replay of the death. And it's a big joke that they do on their stream. So that's probably where this comes from. That That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, this must be their gaming setup, obviously. And this would be Matt's desk. He's the guy who does most of the sound effects and all the, the cool stuff like that. He does a lot of the gathering for them on their multiplayer servers. <laughs> Silver Nugget, nice. Uh, there's good loot in those two, if nothing else. Um, they're really nice guys, though. I've, I've never had any issues with them. They seem to be pretty cool. They are officially sponsored by the Fun Pimps, too. So, like I said, if you haven't checked them out on Twitch, and you are on Twitch, you should definitely check them out. Alright, so... I think they're... There's a lot of garbage around here. I think they're picking on, um... The Twitch streamer lifestyle, but not all Twitch streamers are actually... Have... Dirty workstations. Some might, but not all of them. Okay, here we go. It looks like we found the loot room. Yes, we did. Let's see what we get. Uh, weather sports bag had nothing in it. Uh, Matt's storage. Oh, definitely beard oil. I could use some beard oil right now. Uh, let's see. A healthy beard is the first step in the apocalypse that you should be worried about. Note. Use of this product will not make your beard as awesome as Joe's. Nice. I can tell Dwalart is a fan. Oh, heavy bandit leg armor. Good. I'll wear that. I don't get to catch their streams as much as I wish I could. Uh, nothing in that one. I like how there's personalized loot for everybody in here. It's pretty cool. Ah, oh, got the BGG hat. Yeah, I'll be wearing that instead of what I'm wearing. Oh, wait, no, I can't. That sucks. Uh, gas mask? Yeah, gas mask counts as an actual mask, so we can wear that. Let me turn my uh, helmet back on here. Okay, there we go. So now you can see. I wish I could wear that with the mining helmet. That would be cool. But, okay, so we got another shot, or we got a shotgun and two sh uh, ammo. Good. Stuffed otter. I, I need to look that one up. That's a reference I don't get. 
Joe stuffed otter that is so cute and cuddly you just want to take it to bed with you every night. Sorry, Joe, I just had to. Nice. Uh, 44 Magnum and some ammo for it. That's good. Okay, so yeah, we're starting to actually get into some decent loot now. Another stuffed otter. Like, are these just... What can you do with these? Do you just... You can't scrap them. You can only drop them. They do have burn time, so we can use them for fuel. Uh, maybe he's making a statement with that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to check this door next to Matt's room. Or ne next to Matt's desk here. See what's in here. I think... Oh, yeah, more storage. Good. Uh, paint. Okay, they love to paint things, so that kind of fits that there would be a lot of paint and dye and stuff in here. They're really big on building. I actually, uh, was watching them, I believe it was Alpha, the end of Alpha 15, working on a huge prison build. It was pretty awesome. Alright, so that room is empty. Uh, Dwylord, if you happen to see this, uh, where's the kicks references, man? <laughs> I know you're a streamer and all, but... Okay, cardboard box, empty. We got a pile of garbage empty. Another cardboard box. Ooh, finally, hand weeder. Okay, so, I actually want a hand weeder for the first time ever because it takes a lot of um plant fibers to finish your your builder class quest or to even get it started you need 10,000 plant fibers so hand weeder is the way to go for that you're not going to get them without it it'll take you forever to get them up okay so i think everything is looted down here this is an awesome building um whoever built this kudos you definitely have a good sense of humor about you I'm pretty sure this was probably Dwalard or one of his friends that he streams with all the time, so whichever one of you it was, great job. I enjoyed that building. Alright, so yeah, so just so you know, no, no zombies spawn in there. So you can go in just as heavy as you want to go. Okay, I'm going to drop all this stuff off in the chest because we'll come back for it later off camera. Uh, I see that guy coming. I keep hitting my W key too early and crafting chests, but you can never have too many chests, right? I know uh, in the Undead Legion playthrough that I'm... Or, not Legion, sorry. Undead Legacy playthrough that I'm working on right now. Uh, it's... That's the main problem, is space. I can't hit this guy to save my life. Okay, so we're gonna... Basically, what we're gonna do for the rest of this episode is... Head over to the uh, next place we're gonna loot. And we will loot that in the next episode. Because, as of now, I'm running low on time. I'm trying to cut down from 30 minutes to around 20 minutes for you guys. Because I know it's hard to watch a full 30 minute video. Um, if you want to, if you want me to keep them longer, let me know and I, I, I will. But as of now, from what I can tell, it seems like uh, 30 minute or 30 minutes is a little long. So I'll keep, try to keep them a little shorter for you. Uh, I'm also going to make them a little more action packed. I'm going to stop doing any of the grind or anything like that. Um, as of next video, more like the video that I just released yesterday. So, if you like that format better, let me know. Alright, so that should be good, I think. I don't need any of this ammo or shotguns or anything like that. Clear building. Uh, from what I know, there's not that many zombies in there. So, uh, just to show you where it's at real fast before I go. We will be going, if you're running the same map right here, it's right here. This is the uh, Canucks Super Store, I believe. I might have enough time to loot the first room, at least, just to show you how big it is. Rampage.
Rage. Okay, so welcome to DeWall's Unreal Canuck Superstore. Uh, reference to Ozzy, I believe, on the Discord server. Uh, oh, sorry, I thought I heard somebody. Uh, on their Discord server. Uh, nice reference. Uh, one of the people that plays with <clears throat> Dwell Lord all the time on stream and also helped uh, with the uh, testing for 5.2. So obviously they get their own store. I think that's pretty cool. I, I really love the 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 fact that you show the support for the community if you're watching this. I, I've said it before, but I can't say it enough. Okay, so we're going to go on and clear out the zombies here. And once we clear them out, I'll show you around, show you what we've got in here, and then we'll start looting it next time. Okay, so maybe I can talk these guys into actually coming and visiting outside. Got him down. He's not dead, though. These are a little harder to aim than the regular bow is, or bow are, at bows are. If I could speech, I'd be alright. Uh, they're a little harder to aim, but I think once you get used to them, you're going to be better off. Like, trying to figure out which one of these works for what distances and stuff like that, it's a little tricky. But once you get used to it, you should be good. They are a lot faster than a regular bow, if you can't tell. That's why I like them. Um, I'm going to sneak in here, and I'm going to headshot these sleepers if uh, I don't wake them up. But see, you've got bookshelves galore in here. You've got all these crates. Now, these crates can be, from what I understand, can be pretty much any type of crate. So, as you see, this is definitely the place to be. Early game looting, you can't beat it. Like, if you hit this on day one or two, you've got a pretty good chance of getting, say, a mini bike book or something like that. That would be awesome. 
I'm a much better shot with a regular bow. I'll get better with this one, though. It just takes practice. There we go. Ooh, blue denim pants and Snuggie. <laughs> nice. They have Snuggies. Uh, I am running really low on food, too. So hopefully at the beginning of the next episode, I'll be able to find some food pretty quickly. Um, I hear another zombie, but I'm going to end it here. I'm going to walk outside and end it here. But here is what we've got. We've got a quite a lot of chests and it looks like maybe another room off this way that's all boarded up so that's what we've got to look forward to for tomorrow's video but other than that um if you enjoyed the video go on and drop a like uh if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel it helps me out a lot and i will see you tomorrow